Hello and welcome to this video on Python strings and some really important functions with them. In this video, we're going to be looking at the encode function. So what we have here is a simple sentence. Fusen, it's a city in Germany uh, near Neuschwanstein Castle in Bavaria. And what we're going to do is we're going to start trying to encode this. If you speak German, you'll recognize that this is a U with an umlaut. If you don't speak German, you recognize it as a U with two weird dots over top of it. What we're going to do is we're going to try to convert this UTF-8 string into to ASCII. And the way in which we're going to do that is by trying to account for errors that are going to occur with this U umlaut. So in our uh, encode function, we have really kind of two arguments. So we have encode, and we're going to pass in uh, the encoding. And the second op argument that we have is the errors. And so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to work with both of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new string. Let's call it new s, and it's going to be equal to sentence.encode, and we're going to run the encoding, and we're going to set that up as simply ASCII, and you're going to pass in the coding that you want as a string. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to pass in a specific kind of error. So let's just do ignore for right now. When I print off print new s, we're going to see that what it has done in this output here is it's printed off the new string by simply eliminating that u umlaut entirely. Backsplit a backslash replace will do something a little different. It's going to replace it with, as you see right here, backslashes, backslashes and some extra characters so that you actually know that it's been replaced. Uh, you can also do uh, let's do let's do XML. So you can kind of see this, this is going to convert it to an XML uh, recognized character. There you see it right there, the ampersand uh, number, uh, pound sign, number sign, 252, and the uh, semicolon. And you can do simply replace. And what replace is going to do is it's going to replace that U by default with a question mark. All these things allow for you to account for errors in your um, in your script when you're trying to convert from a type of encoding into another type of encoding. So if I run this off right now without any kind of encoding, I get this error right here. And a really fun one that you can kind of work with to kind of identify what a specific error is. Uh, errors equals, uh, helps if I actually make that a string, there we go, is this right here. This name replace might be one of the more useful ones. If you look down here, we see that we've added in uh, this uh, squiggly brackets. And what these squiggly brackets tell us is exactly what the air character is. We see that it is a Latin small letter U with diuresis, with a diuresis, which is going to be those two little dots above the U. Overall, this is exactly how you encode something and identify errors in that encoding and also how you can account for those errors. If you found this useful and helpful, please subscribe down below. Thank you for listening.